Hey, my name's Shanshan. I saw art at shanshan.co. Today, we're going to react to Viktor Yushkovich. So he has two channels. I'm not sure why he has two channels. All right, so looking at his channel, he has a nice uh, landscape at the top here. He has his store, which is the Art Now Russia site. So he's selling off kind of an online gallery, which is a little bit dangerous because um, that could go down and you don't have your own website. He has Telegram. I think that's a way to kind of connect. Instagram, Facebook, and Patreon. So I guess he does paid tutorials as well probably, which is pretty smart. For his logo, he has a picture of himself with a painting, which is good, but I think he should be much closer to the screen. It shouldn't be, he's like this far back. You should really be like this close, basically. Cause that's on a phone, it's like, <laughs> it's like this big. So <laughs> you gotta be recognized. You gotta have only the face, but it is good to have his painting in the background. He has 525,000 subscribers, so he's doing really well. He has a little intro video, so that's good. He has his second channel right here. He has uploads and major playlists. You can stack these out. You can probably do eight. I think you can do maybe eight on the homepage. So you might want to do this a little bit differently. I would also do a popular uploads, probably put that at the very top. Um, and the second channel I put at the bottom. I'm not sure why he's doing two websites is our two YouTube channels. If they're kind of the same, it's a little confusing. Um, I don't know. I mean, I kind of get it if his real name is Victor Yushkovich and you have that channel name, it's probably better than UVN Art, which he started with, obviously. But it is what it is, you know. <laughs> He's sorting it out. So the first painting is called Storm at Sea, Seascape, Lighthouse, Ship, How to Paint, Easy Art, Something in Russia, Acrylic Painting. So one thing you'll notice on his channel is a lot of um, painting or advertising. This guy knows he's a really quick time lapse of how the painting came together. It's kind of interesting. So it goes real time, real fast time lapse, and then right to the finished video. And you actually have a lightning strike, but I didn't see in the background, so that's kind of cool. Now he's going to start the painting, so that's good. You probably should do a voiceover. You can actually pay someone to do it in English. If um, your clients aren't really Russian, but they're abroad, you can do in English, you can do in German, but it depends on how much you're making on your paintings. But if you're selling abroad, you definitely, you could easily translate this to English with the voiceover. And I think that would add a lot to this video. But he's a really great painter, so end of the day, I mean, so he has his name up at the top. Um, it's very small, so it's okay, but, so I guess you know who it is, but I don't know if that's ideal. This is some really interesting color blends with his uh, painting. He has a patron logo at the bottom too, so it's showing a lot of stuff going on with the little tiny logos everywhere. Which looks fine on the screen, I'm not sure how that looks on your iPhone, that might be like really crowded in the iPhone maybe, I don't know. Hopefully it looks good on an iPhone too, I'm not sure. All right, let's skip ahead just a little bit, guys. Oh, there's some more ads. But he's got this really juicy uh, wave um, colors here. Very nice and dark shadows. I like the violence of the sea is really capturing really well. Yeah, but just a little bit more guys so he's adding the lighthouse i like how the sky is very broad and basic and only defined in some areas and other areas are very kind of um, big bold cloudy it's has a nice neutral uh, background for that lighthouse to kind of sit in even though there's a lot of variation in the color it's really kind of neutral what you call the gray area of the painting and i like this stage of the painting um, I think later he adds the bricks and everything, which is really cool. But I actually don't really care for all the bricks and detail, but it does look super impressive that you can paint that level of detail, obviously. This is, oh my God, we got some ads popping up here, dude. <laughs> all right, let's skip ahead a little bit, guys. 
So he's adding more details. He's added all the bricks to the lighthouse, obviously. He's got the sketch of the ship in the background, so he's going to fill that in later, obviously. Just an amazing amount of detail in his paintings. Like, wow. I mean, this really stands out. Like, just little specks of light on the lighthouse. Like, dude, that's wow. Uh, it really makes that kind of stand out. He's got a little bit of the shadows to give a little more detail. But you really shouldn't have too much in the shadow. It really should be pretty gray in the darkness. And only your details in the light, more or less. Because your eye won't usually make that out. Um, the camera especially, but especially the eye as well. Let's just skip ahead. Just, oh, he's going to add the ship. Okay. This is a really fine layer. Uh, uh, that's really smart you use like a uh, straight edge to get that straight line on the sails. I've tried to freehand it, it looks terrible, so definitely use a straight edge. It's not worth it trying to freehand it. Some artists can pull that off though. Let's skip ahead a little more guys. He's gonna have more of the ship done. Oh god damn these ads. He's got a little bit too many ads in here, but he probably makes a lot of money if it's ads versus selling the paintings once in a while, but he's a really, really great painter, so got some really great study of the seas with a lot of color shading they're like super juicy you know sky wise the only question is like how do you get to that lighthouse because <laughs> i've done lighthouses too but you have to have kind of a rock where they actually land because there's no way to get there if you're gonna land it right i mean nowadays you can do it all a computer or whatever but back in the day you would actually have to go out there and live there Got a little bird in the sky, which is a nice contrast to kind of draw attention away. Let's go to the very end here, guys. So he's adding that light to come down, which is really nice. It draws really a lot of attention from that light sky all the way down. Really make that sky pop. And I think he has a little more. He has a little bit of lightning. Yeah, he has a little bit of lightning then, which I don't think you need, but it's kind of cool. Like daylight, nighttime, a little rough. It does make the sky look more, or the, the rough ocean makes a lot more sense. He has really great lightning. I'm pretty good at lightning, but man, this is like really masterful. So let's go to the next video, guys. This next one is called Awakening Summer Thunderstorm Acrylic Artist Victor Yushkovich, number 15 photos in 2020. Okay, so I took paintings, in, took photos in 2020, kind of stitched them together to do this painting obviously so let's start so it starts with the finished product which is really good i really like this because it has lighting it's not his hello my dear artists this oh he has some video. english if you are not subscribed to my channel yet it's time to do this and we start enjoy so he does do a little bit of voiceover which is really good but it's very echoey it's kind of in a background that's all probably cement or tile walls all around tile on the floor tile on the walls there's it's echoey so he really needs this kind of a soundproof cage and he can use um, these to kind of, you know, put these together like this and like this and then make a soundproof and record your iPhone straight in there in that little cave and that'll make a huge difference in that sound. And then of course he starts his painting from the rough up. So it's cool, he starts with the finished product so you know what you're getting into. Boom, and then he's gonna go straight into doing the painting. Again, he has the title, his all his logos on the video. A little bit over the top. But it's good that he, you know he's there, but here you see more of him, where he's, uh, the way he's filmed it, you get more of the shot of his head. Nice warm gray going in there. Let's scroll up ahead a little bit, guys. Ooh, this is super juicy. Oh my God, these damn ads. So again, the ads are a little bit <laughs> disturbing with the filming, but what are you gonna do, you know? You gotta pay the bill somehow. But if you're watching this slow, you can, you get a pretty good idea how to do a good claws up, man. He has like really juicy colors in there, like that blue and yellow next to each other. It's like, mwah, such a great colors. Let's skip ahead just a little bit more, guys. So he's starting to add a little bit to C. He's got a really great understanding of rain and the clouds. Like, wow, man, that looks so believable with that rainfall. You can just feel it just lightly misting coming out of the clouds there with that 
light breaking in the background. Like, whoa, man, you can pay like this, dude? Bro. I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit more, guys. He's adding like a little pathway, which is always good. That S-curve path is a really great composition method. Shut up, lady. <laughs> but yeah, that nice path really leads your eye straight into the storm, and he's obviously gonna have the focal point down there. And the dark sea kind of closes in, so it's it's a really nice composition-wise, besides all the great GC colors. And look how he's doing the grass, like, wow, man, he has a really great understanding of how to paint those grass colors. Like, man, you see people paint like this, you're like, I just want to do landscape painting, because <laughs> it's so damn good, you know? So here he's, he probably should have shot it more at an angle, so that he wouldn't be blocking in the scene so much, but... Because he shot it directly over his shoulder, so when he's off to the side, it's fine, but then he's kind of, like, in the scene, so that's a little bit problematic. But you can't reshoot the video, you know, it's just, the painting's done. Uh, let's skip ahead a little more, guys. So here he's zoomed in a little bit more, which is interesting. He's kind of changing the focal detail length. But man, look at the detail on the brushes and the bushes, like, so amazing. But it's so interesting, if you add enough detail, it gets really good if you know what you're doing. So it's like, wow, look at the branches, man. They're super thin, like, dude. I mean, he's got a lighter brush, so he can kick a lot of paint, but it's like, damn, how do you know how to do that, you know? It's like, bro. Oh, this is really cool. Adding the purple against the green, it's obviously complementary colors. Adding some orange there to really make it pop. So you got a little bit of flower brushes and stuff there. Which is really great against that darkness. Let's skip ahead a little more, guys, to get closer to the final product. You gotta love that really light green in the background to make that break on the hillside. Now he's gonna add some more trees in here. Like his branches, man, is so damn good. I just like how subtle that, that rainfall is just like, it's like one or two burn strokes to get that, it's like, wow. Yeah, it's interesting he's doing the branches kind of like with no shrubs on them. Oh, he's adding a little bit, okay. Now he's gonna add kind of the highlights on the trees, which is really good as well. Which makes sense with the, where that land is, the light is really strong there. I don't know if he's gonna do it in the background. Okay, let's scroll to the very end. This is where he adds all the lightning, which is really amazing. And he has just a little bit of a haze of the lightning in the background, so it's really interesting. I've done mine a little stronger sometimes in my painting, but and look at this foreground, it's like, holy crap, man. Like that's, and his signature, look at this, this is a badass signature, too. Wow, so he's even mastered a really great signature. I would just use a paint pen, but this is like a really killer signature. Looks super badass. And he dates it, which is super old school. I wouldn't put a date on there because then it goes five years and people are like, I don't want this five-year-old painting, discount it. But if you have no date, they have no idea when you sold it, you made it, right? Thanks for watching this video. You may help my channel to develop by leaving any comment and sharing this video with your friends. Also, oh, please yeah. subscribe This is kind of cool, he has like, and press the bell in the lower right corner. Damn, that is just so damn good, man. Okay, let's go to this other one. This is called Cozy Ambience Village Life Acrylic Painting Artist Victor Yushkovich, number 93 photos, 2021. I would skip this number 93 photos, whatever stuff, that doesn't mean anything, but some people like the number of their paintings and their photos, but it really means nothing to the audience, so it's just, that's not a smart thing, I think. He's got a picture of himself with the finished product, so now you know what he looks like, which is good. I'll have a photo to take. <laughs> it's always funny, because in Russia they never smile, because it's considered kind of like goofball if you smile. So they always take the shot like, I am a Russian. <laughs> Even girls are take the picture like, I am hot. Check out my sexiness. <laughs> so that's kind of a quirky thing about the Russian culture, but you know, every culture has something weird. The Americans smile a lot, so we just look like goofballs, right? Look at this juicy blues he's starting off. I was like, wow. It's like, Mwah. like a lot of ultramarine there. What the hell? So he has a little bit of sound effects here, which is really cool with the, you hear the birds chirping, a, a duck quacking. So that's super sophisticated to do that in the background to make the painting really pop. And he is doing, let's look a little bit ahead for him, the guys. I wouldn't show the finished product at all to the sign there. I would just push that all the way off. The way he showed it before, I think was better. It's so funny, he's adding a duck in there. 
Or no, that's a sheep bag. Bay. <laughs> like other sheep in here? Oh yeah, there's gonna be sheep in there later. But it's kind of hilarious to put that in there. That's a really cool subtle thing in there because he could have just had this kind of nice music, but he's had he's got nice music. He's got an overlay of bugs and birds chirping, and then the the sheep, you know, baying once in a while. Very, 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 very nicely done on the sound side. It's like, wow, that's like maybe three or four layers of sound. Just like, mwah. Again, if you add a voice layer, it would be a little cooler to explain what's going on. <laughs> that sheep man is hilarious. He's in the foreground using really sharp. Oh, that's a really cool thing. I didn't know people did it this way. That's really cool to get the detail there with that sharp knife. I have that same knife. I just never thought they used it in a landscape painting. And a really nice light here that you're seeing from the light come down and you get this really nice light streak to really draw the tension across yeah the finished product is a little bit distracting there I mean if you want to do like the photo of like what he's painting from maybe that would have been okay there's a reference photo but like I want to see the finished product at the end of the thing you know I mean he showed it at the beginning and that's all you really need I think but again great painter skills great blending skills let's skip ahead a little bit more guys <sighs> so nice adding the sheep. It would have been cool to add the sheep sounds here. Like they all of a sudden they're like, "Bay!" <laughs> as soon as you paint them, that would have been hilarious. Maybe he did. Maybe it's just where I stopped. Cut in is different. Like how small those are, man. Does it like? He's doing like one or two millimeter sheep there. Now he did a little bit of sound. Like, this guy can just paint, man. It's like, holy crap, bro. All right, let's skip ahead a little bit more, guys. Just gonna do more some highlights on the house, looks like. It's got a really nice dark area in there, you know, with the, the, the very background is kind of like neutral, dark gray tonality but then that really that corner is so dark it's really nice and juicy and it's interesting in the finished product I think he adds more color on top of it so he covers up a lot of the darkness but let's skip ahead closer to the end guys he's adding some more texture to the background which is really cool he's kind of layering in multiple layers of green on top of the blue background like the blue shadows are in blue Which is good, you make those sun streaks not as um, obvious. You kind of cut them down a little bit, which is good. You want to make that kind of light, not feel so over domineering. Oh, that's some other stupid ads. Okay. Got some birds flying there. Let's see the very, very final. Okay, we got <laughs> more ads. <laughs> so you had a little, the really nice thing is it's had two blue people in here to really make that focal go like straight across. And the fence follows you all the way around, and then you go one house, brings back to the second house. You got the tree to really lock in by the fence there, so a really lot of movement. You got the other tree branches pointing through, and then the sunlight pulls you all the way down to that scene. So really great, great composition, which makes sense if you're at this level of painting, you would obviously have great composition. All right, so looking at the website, it's in Russia, so hopefully it's not falling under the sanctions, because that would be really terrible, because he's just a painter. I don't think he has anything to do with the war, obviously. And so you, it's just kind of this Russia, you buy this here. Let's click on one of these. I'm not sure how this works. So it'd be much stronger if he had his own website. That would be way better because you could do these really great shots and you can do a lot more stuff on your website. You could just show the video embedded about him, a little bit about him, his life story, where he's shown his work, events he might be doing in Russia, or maybe he travels abroad once in a while. Who knows, but, and this is a pretty good thing, but it's not obvious. You got a little bit of issue with these sites because you don't know how to buy it. It's kind of like you have to speak Russian. So if you're English, you're kind of like cut completely off. So this site is not ideal because he probably could, he's such a high quality painter. You could easily sell this in Europe, England, Germany, United States, Australia, New Zealand. I don't think he'd have any problems at all. But because his whole website's in Russian, he's gonna be screwed. He's probably only selling to Russia, which he probably has some good clientele, but it's just, 
I think this is really hurting him being only in Russian. So, you know, if this website has a conversion to English, that's fine, but I don't think it does. It's only in Russian. So he's probably highly limited on what his audience could be. I think probably his prices could be two, three times whatever he's selling at because he could really reach a whole nother audience. And then those people have bid up his work, obviously. So if he, you know, designed a website, English, Russian, maybe German, have those three things, get it translated, get a really well-run website. Maybe you all filter it through Art Now and say they, that's how you close the sale. But, you know, you can do PayPal and have that thing. You have to look up under the sanctions. I don't think you can do it until after sanctions, maybe, you know, due to like how hard it is to get money in and out of Russia right now. But once the sanctions and the war clears up, he should totally do that because it would be totally worth He would easily make a lot more money, I'd say, because he's such a great artist. Hopefully you guys like it. Give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to check my channel, you can subscribe below. And I'll see you on the next Artist React video. Thanks for watching, guys.